Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Tuesday, May 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on gold, we definitely are going down a little bit. We do have a little bit of a triple top right here, which price is really struggling to break out of. I do think we are probably in a crutch right now, but I still think that this is going to end up continuing up. I still believe we're heading up to around the 22, maybe even 23 hundred dollar area to finish off this uptrend so let's head down to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we definitely have a very impulsive move down i think this is going to end up being a crescent to this last wave and most likely it's going to eventually end this crescent and just end up continuing the uptrend breaking these highs going into all-time highs like i was just saying on the monthly time frame so let's keep going down to the daily time frame on the daily time frame, I'm actually still thinking that this is possibly a wave A right here. This is like a three-way pattern up for wave B. And then this is like a downtrend right here for most likely a wave C. It does seem like it would go down to at least a 50% level before it made that impulsive outbreaking structure and then continuing the uptrend. Like I said, it seems to me like it's just going to be a crutch into this last move up. So most likely it's going to bounce off a of fib level and end up continuing the uptrend. So until it does that, we can definitely be looking for sorts on sorter time frames. Going down to the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, it still looks to me like a one. It looks like an ABC of two. And even though this move up was pretty strong, it never even broke any structure from the wave three. So we may very easily still be in a wave three and it may just keep on trending down, still part of a big wave three. So until we at least have some break of structure to the upside, I am definitely still looking for sorts in a downtrend. So let's head down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, a little bit of a tricky pattern, but I think right here is where this downtrend ended right here. And then this is a one, this is an ABC, this is an A, this is an ABC, a B, and then this is an uptrend. And the wave C made a lower high than the wave A, making that what I call an irregular wave C. And then, as you can see, it's been trending down ever since. Definitely has a five-wave pattern, so it probably is due for a pullback. It probably will go up and break this structure, but I think it's going to make another lower high, most likely another lower high, and just end up continuing the downtrend, telling me that if I do see three waves up, if I see an impulsive move down, then I definitely Definitely taking that as a sorting opportunity, just like this back here, three ways up, impulsive down, go sort, three ways up, impulsive down, even right here, three ways up, impulsive down, go sort for the continuation of this downtrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, the link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.